because you just said. Okay, go go. Huh? Pause music. Because I was just thinking, like, you know, I was thinking, like, yo, we all lead, and then this bastard said he doesn't lead. I don't need think shit. You, I think by default we all need it in some ways. Just maybe your your influence might not be big or whatever, but what do I think I need? All right, all right. what do you what do you think I need in? Uh, at least this, for example. I already told you. Why? Because I because well, we make videos. Because you put in the work. You 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 go out of your way. You go above and beyond. Like that's and you do What do you do? I just show up and talk crap. And what do I do? You you actually bro, you're posting day in and day out. Nah, I should post more. And and, and I also I need to post more. All right, but that's the thing. You're looking at yourself compared to somebody else. I'm looking at you compared to me. Well, so I think you're leading me. Because I haven't even told you that. There's things that I'm like, eh, I kind of feel like doing it. But I see how you're pushing it. Then I'm like, yo, I'm going to show up. And we're just going to get this popping. Once we get it popping, I enjoy it. But there's things that you you feel, you know, when I'm like, oh, I'm trying to move, I'm trying to definitely. drive. But you're leading me. And then once I get there, it's like, okay, yeah, I'm glad I was there. And I think that's leadership. Leadership is it's not necessarily you have a big following. I think it's just... You you allow yourself to be that platform that somebody can step on to be a better them. You know, you leave in the gym all the time. Uh huh. Well, I mean, I see. Look, this is how I look at it. At, at least for me, like for me, I just look. I don't. I don't feel like I train you. I train with you. Yeah, yeah but you. I leave don't me. feel like I do. But you leave me. I didn't say train me because that's how you corrected me. Like I don't train you because we work together. Yeah. But you lead me. Uh, I mean, I guess in a way. But in, rea- in reality, right. look, look. The reason, for example, let's like, say in the gym, right? In in the gym, sometimes I get serious. And I try to push you hard because. I know you have more potential than what you think you have. And on top of that, I know that you can do it by yourself. So what's a leader? Someone who sees something in somebody and knows that you can pull it out of them. Okay, I guess. I, I guess. I, I get Look, like I tell you, man, I don't look at, I can't look at myself in the mirror and say something about myself. That's just, that's You're just, right. You know what I'm saying? But, like, but I want, this is what I wanted to hear. I wanted to hear the fact that you just defined your leadership of my life. Accidentally, people. Accidentally. <laughs> Accidentally. <laughs> because it's like, you know, uh, one thing that I was I was just stumbling on, you know, it was uh, the whole fact that we all lead somehow. Why? Why were you thinking about that? Because I was thinking how, uh, you know, sometimes I, I feel like I don't communicate well enough what I'm trying to get my point across, right? Mm-hmm. And so that drives me nuts because I'm like, then I really can't lead somebody if I can communicate them, right? Okay. But I was like, yo, no matter what you do, you're leading people. Or you're leading yourself, or you're leading something. What do you mean, though? Like, like you like, can't communicate. Like, like you know, like, like for example, in a in a relationship, if you want to lead a relationship down a certain path, so this I feel like I can't, I don't communicate my emotions and my and my feelings and my whatever expectations. Mm-hmm. And I think I told you this before too. I sometimes I feel like I don't, I don't tell people exactly what I expect from them. Right. So right. sometimes, like you know, then when they don't give me exactly what I expected, I'm disappointed. And it's like, but wait, mm. no, you have no right to be disappointed because you didn't convey it right, right, right. properly. So I thought that I feel like, you know, okay. it's like, I'm not a leader, right? But and I think a lot of us say that. Like you just said it right now, I'm not a leader. But the reality is we're all leading in some way. We just, some of us suck at leading. <laughs> that's the realization. Uh, I think we're all leaders, but some of us are just better than others. Just, okay, I got you. Okay. So that's what led me to this idea. I was like, yo, you lead all the time. You just, maybe you don't credit that to yourself. Yeah, no, I don't know. I just I'm living life, man. Exactly. <laughs> I just, I'm, exactly. I'm not looking at it like oh, I'm trying to like. But you know, but you, I will say you know like we are leaders. It's just some people are more intentional about it. You know, like okay, like yeah. Jerry. Yeah, know? we can see what Jerry. Lorenzo. Oh, okay, okay. I'm like, what Jerry? Are you talking about? <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, I don't think you think he tried to lead. I think he he did. I think he tried I, to show a different way of looking at things. Yeah, I I don't, I don't know. Now you don't talk about like fear of God. I almost think like it's like I I don't want to say accidental. But it's almost like, you know, like you don't expect to go somewhere. You just end up there. Like, for example, like probably when you were 15, you didn't expect to like be where you are mm-hmm. now. But somehow in life, you just ended up Took there. A turn yeah, you know what I'm saying? So there's someone I hear him talk about stuff. I just feel like, like, damn. Like, I, it almost sounds like, and then he talks a lot about God. So it almost sounds like he, and he says it a lot, right? Like, yo, like God put me here with these gifts and stuff. So it almost sounds like, yo, you just got here, like, without you even intentionally trying to be here. Like, when he talks about, like, the Nike yeah, shoe. Yeah, yeah. He always talks, like, uh, he said he talks about how he used to work with this baseball player. And he thought that um, he will be able to create something for him through him. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He never thought that he'll be able to create himself, something with himself, Nike yeah, through what yeah. he built. So, I, I, I could just, I, I don't know. I guess, like, at least for me personally, I... Uh, it's hard for me to just look and be like, oh yeah, you're this, you're that. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just doing what I do. I'm, no, you know, no, I'm, not, I'm not like I guess like you said, like you know, some people are intentionally trying to be leaders. Yeah. Like they're really like. And, and and I think you said it. And an interesting point is is Jerry probably wasn't trying to lead, mm-hmm. but it gets to a point that you do something so refreshing that you turn around and you're like, 
people are actually looking at me. Yeah, and yeah. And at that point, you can either choose to shun them yeah. or choose to accept the fact that you've been given a platform and you can influence for the better. Right, right, right. Yeah. You yeah. know? And, and I think that that's it. I think that all of us have to look around. Like, for example, um, there's a saying where it's like, oh, no, look, look back and see who's following you, right? Yeah. You know, because some people don't think they're being followed, but they are. Someone's watching yeah, your steps, yeah. maybe a kid. You said all the time, maybe there's a kid in a, in a room yeah, that's yeah, watching yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you're leading them. You're influencing them in some kind of way. Right, right, right. right? Yeah, I, I, I guess. So, so. so my point is, I think we all should just take that into consideration and appreciate that we our voices matter, I guess, is what we're saying. Yeah. You know, so, so you, degree, you, you, yeah. feel so, you feel so, like, small. But it's like, yeah. yo, everybody started small. And but then somehow... But you followed something that was so real to you. Yeah, yeah. Next thing you know, somebody else is connected to that, too. And now you own all of your God Essential. Yeah. Which I wanted to get to. Which, I, which is what, exactly what I wanted to get to. Which is what you were saying right now. I'm not a hype beast. I'm, are you call me a jerry boy. I will gl- <laughs> gladly take that mantle of a jerry boy. Of a recently indicted jerry boy. Because, I mean, look. Fear God's been around for a long, yeah, yeah, long... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't Okay, let's not say long, long no, time. No, but it's been for so like 2014, 2015 yeah. or so, right? And I haven't been on it since you gave me an Essentials Fear God shirt. Think about that right now. Like, yo, I was on Paxson. Like, you said, I saw you on Paxson. Like, I was looking at, I looked at both collections, 2017 and 2018. I was like, yo, those are dope. I'm thinking about getting it. I never got nothing. And you got it. So, technically, you put me on this Jerry Boy track. It wasn't even, like, my you decision. You were there. You just didn't want to pull the trigger. Look, man. This, this is now, thing. you don't stop pulling the trigger. Like, yeah, that's the problem. Now, I'm just, boom, 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 boom. You know, and honestly, it's, look, it's clearly because of this. Like, I, I was telling him, like, yo, I've never, like, I've been, I like clothes. I like shoes. I've, I've followed that for forever, whatever. Yo, I've never been into a brand and what it stands for and the person so much in my yeah, entire life connected. than yeah. here. You get me? Like you feel like, 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 literally, level. like here's where it's at. It's like, yo, like, like mind you, this guy just is super comfy everywhere he goes. Like yeah. literally, but there's like, yo, it's comfy to the max. You get me? Like literally, sweatpants mm-hmm. and he's made sweatpants and pant like sweatpants fresh. You get yeah. me? And there's this there's there's this guy who like like, I don't know why, but I'm not, you know, I wouldn't consider myself a Christian or none of that, right? Even though I do believe in God and, you know, and, and all of that. I just, I wouldn't consider myself, you know, a Christian or anything like that. Just not to take away from the people who are actually following God and being, like, mm-hmm. real. You get me? At least for me. So, you know, I, I, this guy that I connect with just because of the passion and, and, and how he talks mm-hmm. and, how and, and you know, the, the kind of detail he puts into things. I just connected with it in such a way, you know, and I found myself lately just with speakers, you get me, people who mm-hmm. speak, you know, Charlemagne, mm-hmm. Gary Vee, all these people, I connect with those people on the level because their level of real, the level of rawness, I just enjoy, you get me, yeah, yeah. so, I don't know, man, I guess, like, you know, all these guys connected somehow, here's Jerry, like, you know, like, yo, freaking like clothes, I have freaking shoes everywhere mm-hmm. in this wall, it's like, yo, dope, you get me, like, mm-hmm. so, so, I'm not a hype beast. I'm a J- I think the only time, and you can argue this right now. I think the only time I'm being a high beast is when I say, "Oh, I'm a high beast today," and that's when I have on like a stupid side bag, cause that's high beast. High beast, yo, look, ASAP Rocky, three years ago was wearing the you know, little baggy off for your laptop yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever, those goyard things or whatever, yeah. and everybody was like, "Oh, yeah, you wearing the man yeah. purse and rah rah rah." And next thing you know, everybody in the mama got a side bag. Supreme got a side bag. Supreme and Louis Vuitton got a side bag, and everybody got that side bag and. And this, yo, everybody in the mama got a side bag. And I was like, you know, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I might be hype beast this time around. And we went, what was the time? We went Orlando. to Disney, Orlando. I was like, you know what? I gotta jump on the side. I jumped on the side bag trend for functionality and for the look of it. You get me? Because it was function. I need a tripod carry and all that stuff. And it helped out. But I think that's the only time I've been the hype beast. Now, your face is telling me, nah, bro. I don't know, man. You, you, you jump on some wagons, I think. Tell me. Like... Like, but for me, for someone, it would be the sneakers. Like, you, you, you used to be on that. Oh, no, but, okay, okay, well... You used okay, to be on time, that. Time, 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 time. So, le- first so, off, let's uh, define let me hype beast. Let, let me let's define what a hype beast no, is Let, let me ask you this, because you're more about the culture, quote-unquote, right? Yeah. So, can someone who's a sneaker be a hype beast? beast? Aside from... Because when we talk about hype beast, we're talking about usually what? Like, supreme? Well, okay, no, no, there's a thing. So... Back then, the word high beast was a negative thing, yeah. right? I remember being, it was in 10th grade, right? And I said this before, the Galaxy phone pauses came out. I felt like when the Galaxy phone pauses came out, the high beast went loose. You get what I'm saying? 
So back then, a high beast was somebody that was like, yo, you don't even really like this shit. You, you just, just rocking it else. because everybody else you is rocking it. You jumping on the wagon. It. Exactly. That's like literally like, yo, you're not even fucking with this shit like that. You get me? You just rocking it because everybody, you get what I'm saying? So like, for example, you got kids rocking Supreme mm-hmm. and people paying hella money for Supreme. You know, they call, they're getting called high beast because, dude, you're overpaying for for, some, for, a for something that a t-shirt that costs $30. For a box logo. Is exactly. a box logo t-shirt that costs $30, literally, at the store, right? People make huge lines because they know the resale is going to be off the roof, right? Those box logo t-shirts cost like $350. Some cost $1,000. It's ridiculous. You get me? And some people don't really like, don't give a shit about Supreme. They don't give a mm. fuck about Supreme. They don't know shit about Supreme. They don't know when it started. They don't know what the fuck is that about. Nothing. They just see, oh, fuck. Everybody's, uh, everybody's rocking that shit. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, so that's the whole thing of a hype beast. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I wouldn't consider myself like, look, like this nigga right here can say she's a hype beast. She has fucking fear of God shoes on. She has no fucking clue what that even is. I was just she saying just, that. She, she just probably saw like some oh girl, cute as fuck, wear them and be like, who? yo. Who? You know what what I'm saying? girl? She, I actually she, got it. She found out because of us, to be honest. Exactly. Of course. Of course. That's it. That's like, that nigga, I could call it a hype beast. But me on the other hand, I wouldn't, I wouldn't consider myself a hype beast because I personally go into things that I know I like. You get me? I know that I enjoy. For example, I'll give you a perfect example. Through, so women, right? Women's battle is always going to be materialistic things, right? Men's battle is always going to be women. I'm going to give you a perfect example. Men have nice cars. Why? Because they try to impress women. Guys try to get nice houses. Why? Because they got to impress women. If, bro, look, Dave Chappelle said this. This is literally, I'm taking this from Dave Chappelle way back in the day. Dave Chappelle said, yo, if men could fuck a girl in a box, he would live in the <laughs> box. <laughs> no, that's fucking facts. All right? We have these, we overpay for shit and we have all this nice shit to try to impress girls for the most part, right? I myself, the way I'm, especially lately, the way I'm dressing, I'm not dressing for fucking girls. Get that? I, I'm not trying to define no feature of my of myself. I'm not trying to bulk up and get all gaudy. I'm not doing none of that shit. You know what I mean? Straight so, up, huh? so me personally, I feel like the way I dress is always gonna be for me. You know what I mean? Like I just it, it, it's <coughs> it's gonna be like yo. If I feel it, you know what I mean? If I'm feeling that vibe, like yo, I'm fucking, I'm feeling myself, feel like a fucking rapper, and I wanna move around. You see me when I'm I'll be moving around, be happy as fuck, cause I'm feeling myself. And that's the feeling that I like. That's more of the expression that I go for when I'm dressing up. It's not going to be like, oh, yo, where are we going? Are we going to the club? All right, fuck, bro. Now I got I gotta, to I gotta wear this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? And I understand the mindset. You get me? If if you want to impress some girls or whatever, I understand why you're going to do it. You know, I think that the classic look, the look that you bring, the fitted shirts, the crop pants, the, the you know, the plain sneakers, that's a look that any man could pull off. You get me? Like, it's like, yo, that's a classic man. You're going to look good no matter what. You get me? It's, it's a good style. You get me? You're gonna, I'm not saying that you do that for girls. I'm just saying that's no. good. That, I think that that's We both way. know that if I could go anywhere in shorts, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would go you know, everywhere for sure, for in sure. shorts. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, but that look is always going to be like, like, you're not going to be fresh yeah, as fuck. Yeah, it's safe. It's but safe. it's safe. Exactly. You're playing the safe card. Like, you know, you can accentuate certain parts of your body. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, for example, like, the big buff-ass motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. They like to wear muscle tees so that that shit can be tight mm-hmm. as fuck. You know what I'm saying? They like to wear crop tight pants and trendy-ass, like, fucking ultra boots and some shit like that. You know, like, that's how you see these big niggas, like, right? So, the so exactly. And the living <laughs> living hat in Miami, especially in Miami, you know? So, I don't know. I think I consider those kinds of people hypebeats. I don't think I fit in the in the category of hypebeats because I'm not necessarily buying shit that I don't... Like, for example, now, if I start buying a bunch of stupid shit, like, I start buying, like, fucking pointless Gucci shit and pointless... You know, shit that's pointless. You know what I mean? Shit that's trendy, then that's the thing. And I have bought some trendy shit. Like, for sure, I bought some trendy shit. But, you know, it, it's, just, it's just to, like, test out some things because, like, sometimes I, I definitely get bored. I, I want to be, like, everywhere, to be honest. I want to be able to, like... Pull off a, a, mm-hmm. a Taylor Sue. I want to be able to pull off a decent look. I want to be able to pull off a grunge look. I want to be able to just fuck it. You know what I'm saying? This is how I feel today. So this is what I'm going to rock. This is how so, feel so you feel like you have hype moments, but you're not a hype beast person. <sighs> I don't think I'm a hype beast. Yeah. Me personally. Per the definition that I said. Somebody who's just rocking shit because, oh, fuck. Like, this person has it, so I got to go get it. You get what I'm saying? Like, okay, like, like a perfect example, man. I think the hypest people right now is going to probably move. Trends and fashion like that is gonna be an ASAP Rocky, right? ASAP Rocky right now, his collaboration for his merch on on uh, on stage and stuff like that is with Prada, right? Prada is one of the hardest brands right now, right? So Prada has all these like nylon track pants with the little strap on, on, on the bottom and the same shit with the jacket and stuff like that. You know, most people are gonna cop that shit right now, honestly, because it's hot. Let's be honest. You know what I mean? Like Prada right now is one of those brands that's just popping like a motherfucker right now. 
So like if I see somebody with that, I'm not being like, oh, okay, cool, props, you get me? I'm not really looking at that. I'm like, yeah, like, you probably got that because you saw some other motherfucker with it. You get what I'm saying? Like, but what I don't know that, feeling. Feeling that ASAP, like, how do you, how can you distinguish a high beast from a regular dude? Well, that's but, really I, like that, that. You know, realistically, this, this is going to be real. Like, if if I see you and, and again, like, I, that's why I understand why you guys are saying high beast. I just want to clarify. Like, look, if I see you in the street and you're wearing a bunch of, like, known ass brands, I'm thinking, oh, you're kind of hype. You get me? Now, until I have a conversation with you, I'm not going to really know if you're hyper or not. Yeah. You get me? It all depends. Like, man, like, look. Look at DJ Clark Kent, right? You know what that is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that guy's, like, you know, super into sneakers and shit, right? But you look at him, he's always dressed like a New York cat. You get me? Always. Like, yo, he's d- very, like, s- swaggy but mm-hmm. simple on top. You know, your little coach jackets or your jerseys or shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Your regular jeans. You know what I'm saying? Your flash sneakers. That's really how these, like, I, I guess, like, you know, cats like him dress. Like, you know, it's, it's dope. It looks, it looks clean. You get me? And you got dudes like from Miami, for example, where it's like, yo, honestly, Miami, bro, you either with a white tee and some shorts mm-hmm. or you're Gucci down yeah. all the way. You know what I mean? Like, like the medium is like very rare. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's yeah. minimal. You know what I mean? So in other words, what I'm trying to say is that in Miami, there's no really, there's no real fashion sense. You know what I mean? Like, like you really got like a, a culture of street guys that are, you know, like in high school, they're into sneakers. And then you just got your hype guys. Like, fuck it. I got some money. Let me fucking, you know what I'm saying, Gucci down so that the girls could see me. Gucci and you know head back. Yeah. And fucking, you know what I'm saying, just try to stunt all the fucking time. Like, so there's really more simple guys than just fucking trying to stunt guys. You, you see those guys all the time. So, let me, uh, like, one more question. So, a lot of that hypey stuff would probably happen when you pull something out of its proper context, right? Mm. Like, for example, like, those who wear, like, like those Gucci headbands just... For the hell of it. Yeah, like, I, yeah. I, I, look, to me, bro, if you don't wear no fucking headband, and I don't know, you just start wearing headbands, I'm going to think you're hypebeast. Like, I'm going to be like, yo, like, like, why? But Soulja Boy taught me. Yeah, but Soulja Boy <laughs> is fucking hype as fuck, too. Like, look, Soulja Boy made me laugh. Soulja Boy's like, yo, you know, he, he's dissing Kanye. Like, yo, Kanye's never been fucking fresher than this. And he has, like, this, like, I think Fendi tracksuit oh, yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, bro, no offense, bro. That's not, you're not fresh, man. Like, to me, you're not fresh. You get me? Cool, you can afford expensive. But, but what about what's his name? Who's uh, who's the partnership with Fendi? Um, partnership with Fendi is a rapper. Yeah, yeah. Big Sean, right? Does Big Sean the sponsor by by Fendi? I don't know. I remember he wore like a whole Fendi. No, look. but he had like Fendi ads, right? Uh, I don't know. You can check video. that. You can check Big that. Big Sean. I don't think. I don't think. Yo, Big Sean had Fendi ads. Do you remember that? Huh? Big Sean had Fendi ads. I think so. I'm pretty sure he had Fendi stuff. I don't know, bro. I know he had Fendi stuff, like sure. No, no, know. but I thought he had something going on with Fendi, no? I'm not sure, dude. I'm not, I know Fila has something going on with Fendi. Oh, yeah, of course. Like, maybe That's what you're bad. thinking about. No, 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 but I'm pretty sure this dude is rocking hell of Fendi for a reason. Not just because, just you know? Yeah. But like for a reason. Uh, I'm not sure, Maybe man. I'm tripping, man. Maybe I'm tripping. Yeah, I'm not sure. But, I mean, uh, you know, but like some of these rappers really be on that tip with like, are they hype or they just got the money? I think they're hype. Yeah? Yeah, they're hype. So no, hype, they're, they're hype, hype and they got the money. So hype, you hype, need the money for that. So hype doesn't have like a... Look, man, look. look I'm going to give you a perfect, perfect example. Look at these rappers with jewelry, right? They over-accessorize and they can't dress for shit, in my opinion. You know what I mean? I look, let's, let's take a little Baby. Let's take Amigos, all these guys, right? These guys, not only do they over-accessorize, but they do too much, in my opinion, sometimes with their fits. It's like too much shit going on. Yeah, yeah. You get me? It's too much loud shit. And if that's, and again, like I said, man, style is always an expression of you. If that's how you feel, you want to be loud, you want to be expressive, go for that shit. You know I mean, that's always on you. You know I me, mean? motherfuckers like me and other people in the world are always going to have an opinion. Man, dude, whenever, like, and the way, the way I see it is I always see it as a thing, bro. You know, there's some people that they dress up and you don't give a fuck what they wear because you know the niggas are not fresh. And, and, like, and I don't mean it, like, you just don't pay attention to them because, uh, like. They're my famous person is that. that. That you don't care how they dress? Charlemagne. Charlemagne. You really pay attention to what Charlemagne's wearing? You were Tim's. No, no, I'm saying, but you don't pay attention to what Charlemagne <laughs> wears. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I mean, like, let's be honest. You don't pay attention to what Gary Vee wears. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You say, like, name a rapper like that? That's hard, man. I think all the rappers are all kind of doing the same thing, especially all these young guys. Look, all these young guys, they're all buying big ass chains. Like, I'm telling you, they over accessorize. You know I mean, yeah. It's I, like all of this no, stuff. Like, is like, like, you started seeing the hype of the whole, like, dog color, like, with the uh, choker. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, with yeah. what's his name? With, um. Um, I don't know. With who? 
What's his name? Bro? Oh, with uh, uh, Lil Was Lil it when he started the Joker? Bro, Lil Zimmer was one of the first ones to start that crap. Yeah. Because he was like, he had the whole like rocker looking yeah. thing well, going. Yeah, he, he is a rock star. Yeah, but, but but he had that rocker thing going. And, yeah. and then you saw Migos was on that joke too. Yeah. Oh, you see, a bunch of people getting everybody chokers. Everybody has chokers. Yeah. I think every rapper has a choker, dude. Like, literally every rapper has that like 18, which I mean, again, look. That look right now is dope. It looks good. It looks whatever. Again, to me, eh. I personally, if I have to get like a choker or a smaller chain, it's gonna be a small chain, like a small. Chain. I think that looks better than these big ass mm-hmm. like Cuban links that everybody has. Again, look, man, everybody's doing this thing, especially like in that whole like rap rapper thing that they all have big ass jewelry on, and everything they have on is designer. Yeah. You know what I mean, like everything, and the minimalist, the minuscule brand they have on is like a Ralph Lauren like T or a <laughs> Ralph Lauren boxers. You get what I'm saying? But like. I don't know, man. To me, all those guys are hype just because it's the hot shit. Mm-hmm. Like, like, everybody's boycotting Gucci now, right? And we're talking about this, the, blackface. the whole blackface shit, right? But, like, bro, everybody rocks Gucci. Every rapper in the mama is rocking Gucci, right? Now they're probably going to stop because of this whole blackface situation, whatever. Okay. And they're going to want to put a pause on that. They're going to jump right back on that shit. Because that shit is hype. You get me? Yeah, Gucci's Gu- hype as Gu- fuck. Gucci's going to... So not an apology. Then they're gonna work a collaboration about equality. Yeah. And then you're back on that one. For, so, yeah, I'm telling you, man. Look, Ti said boycott, but for three months. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't. I guess by that he's trying to send a message. And he's saying like you know we're gonna mess up your quarter sales. Yeah, right? exactly. So okay, cool. Whatever you wanna do. But is Ti hype? Because that guy just be chilling. Um, it's, well, Ti has his own brand, Hustle yeah, Gang. So I know he has his own like clothing and stuff like that. I don't think Ti is hype. What about Jay Z? I think Ti dresses. Nah, hell no. Nah. What about Kanye? Is Kanye hype? Yeah. Yeah, but you know Kanye's hype, but like, not him. He's not. He's the hype. Yeah, he's the hype. Exactly. Okay. Let's go with that. He's. What about hype. Drake? He's not hype. Nah, Drake's not hype. Either. Drake, look again. Drake OVO. Like honestly, look. What I've seen from Drake lately is he's been rocking a lot of Tom Ford suits. Yo, what about what about the the hype with the turtleneck and the double breasted? Oh, is that bro, the hype for everybody? Now? Hype. Yes. For everybody. That's hype as fuck. For everybody. Yes. Look, I just saw somebody on my IG again. I think that that look is dope. Double it's breasted fresh, suit, but they ruined it. It's they fresh as fuck. It. Don't get they me wrong. It. it looks good. Whoever you are, it's a classy look. It looks good. The problem is, like you know, you look at all these Rockefeller, um, Rock Nation brunches. Everybody got that shit. Yeah, like man. yo, look, not this, not this. This was a Grammy party brunch thing. The Rock Nation the, one. The Rock Nation mm-hmm. one. I'm talking about the one they had, like I think, like during like Christmas or some shit like that. That they were like in some fucking building. Even even on. you even see it in uh, Mick Mill's the music video. Yeah. yeah. He has a turtle neck, right? Yeah, with some weird, jacket yeah. on. And, I mean, again, like I said, it's a nice look. Don't get me wrong. It looks nice. But that shit is hype. hype that look man. is hyped as fuck right now. Like, it's like, bro, come on. Like, somebody... Look, Jay-Z, he, he, he did it good. I think he did it good. I think he came, he went for a classic look. I think it looks nice. You know, he did the whole t-shirt and double-breasted yeah, suit. Yeah, he, he was casual. Simple. Yeah, But casual. he had the hat going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah he had the I, sneakers on. I think it looked good. Like, the whole look... Yeah. I, like always is Diddy. Diddy's always been wearing turtlenecks, as far as I can remember. Yeah. With suits. Well, yeah, yeah, you're right. Like, I know, like when I was watching the like Diddy's, the old music videos, yeah, like, like Diddy's with always the wearing turtlenecks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, again, like I'm, yo, know, there's plenty of people I'm sure that did that look yeah. before. No, but I'm saying as I mean, far but, as like there, because but cause, that's a trend right now. Yeah, because I was saying because like it's like a sphere, right? So, uh, so usually you and I talk when we talk about we talk about the world because fashion is. Yeah, it's too, too hard, too, too much. much. Yeah. Well, we talk about usually the hip hop sphere. Yeah. The hip hop sphere, we're seeing that like. Prevailing right yeah, now, like yeah. it's really like, like when these guys dress up. Look, um, I just watching this this video Casanova, and he was talking about the same thing. Like he bought a, a Gucci, a Gucci, so you know the NY thing, yeah, or whatever huh? that they got going on. I don't know if that's Dapper Dance thing or or that's just Gucci's mm-hmm. thing. But um, he was talking about like man, I just bought three of them shits. And I can wear them. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> again, they look nice. You know I mean, they look good. You know I mean, whatever. Like the whole look is dope. But I mean, but it's hype, man. I just, in my opinion, Gucci's hype. You know what I mean, Gucci's hype as fuck. Look, Louis Vuitton right now is like, I think Louis Vuitton was like low key for a while. I think Louis is like bigger for its like accessories. Yeah, you know what I mean? the, bags, the bags, you know, the, you know the, the cases, checker print, suitcases. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But you know, you know, you can't really tell. Oh, that's a that's a Louis Vuitton. But t-shirt. now they're going really out there. Like, the sneaks with Virgil, of course. Yeah, yeah. with Virgil doing those those see through bags, bags or whatever. And like yeah. that. I mean, yeah, it looks now crazy. you can't be low key or not. <laughs> He's definitely not low key. I, I think that's gonna probably blow but, but up I, more. But, but I mean, all of that's you said it yourself. I think all of that's like Fendi now is super high. Fendi used I, to be really classy. Yeah, it was, and now it's like. I, I, but I think you know, there's a thing, man. I think that hip hop is taking over. So in such a big way that it's like these brands have to like collaborate yeah. with these street styles. You get me and stuff like that. Because re- realistically speaking, man, like street style hip hop is the same. Yeah, man, but, shit, but man. I'm telling you, like for me, the thing about being a high beast to me is that it's the funniest thing. 
Yo, because a couple years ago, we used to make fun of, of, fe- of Fila, yeah, Champion, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and whatever oh, else. Sh- and yo, I'm wearing a stupid Champion hat. Yo, Champion used to sell at Walmart. Yeah. For like fucking nothing. You know what I mean? Like sweatpants, crew necks, 15, 20 bucks. Like now, yo, a, a, a sweatshirt at Urban Outfitters costs you $70. Yeah. Sweatpants cost you $70, $80. I mean, that's, that's, it's ridiculous. That's what I'm but, saying. But, but that's why I find hype, like being hype funny. Because it's like, yo, yeah. stuff that you, you would always rag on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And little by little, you get involved into it. Like, you know, honestly, though, but this is the thing. So, Champion, Fila, those brands at one point were like, they were something. Yeah, yeah. they were streetwear. And like, then they just became like, nah, yeah, like, we don't yeah, fuck with that. We only fuck with Nike and Jordan. Like, remember FUBU? Oh, yeah. But you see, but FUBU was like kind of Yeah, like it was like, popping. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. You, you rock FUBU, now it's like... Yeah, well, you, maybe now you might get away You might get away because it. it's fresh now. Right. The but like, Retro, because yeah. it's the retro right. look, but right? But a couple years ago, but yeah, we going to be like, like... Yo, Vivo used to be on that mug like... Nah, bro. That ain't it, bro. Like, that's what I'm saying, bro. It's crazy. That that's why I find, like, the fact that the hype has such an impact. Because yeah. even... Even like, what's it called? Uh, was, was Versace right that has the two change shoes? Yeah, yeah, the chain reactions. Yeah, those things are a thousand bucks each. Yeah, no, man. And I've seen a lot, a lot of guys wearing you, them. You said, so, so like, yo, hype yeah. is real, bro. For sure. No, man, look, especially with with who you have behind the hype. Yeah. That's what matters the most. You get me? If you have, like, for example, I saw Floor Mayweather rock an entire Fendi Fila suit. Let's like, talk about the sneakers, the yeah. pants. Like, look, for, for Floor, that, that might be fresh for him. It's classic. Well, usually like, tends to do the, the full. Yeah, the full thing. Again, personally, do I think it looks good? No. Look, I, let's take Floyd Mayweather, for example. Floyd Mayweather has a lot of money. When Floyd Mayweather dresses like with the students like that, it's fire. Let's be honest, right? Because you can almost never go wrong with a nice tailor mm-hmm. suit. You just can't, right? And you know, motherfucking suits are like made for him. Yeah. I highly doubt shit's off no the rack. Those shit's are bespoke yeah. Yeah. to his body. You get me? Like, they he make, has his own. <laughs> exactly. Like some dude comes, measures yeah, yeah. him up, and makes it out of scratch, yeah. I'm sure. So, you know. When, when he's in that lane, cool. When he's in his more casual, just kind of chilling lane, I've never really seen. Like, I've never been like, yo, let me go on Google. Let me shut your Floyd mail and let me see if I get inspired for a fit. Like, like I don't know. Like, Floyd just, to me, again, so a dude that just What, what about um, Connor? Connor. I, I think outside, outside, of the, outside of the suits. Because Connor, we can, he'd be rocking hella brand, but he does a super he does. chill. I think he does a super chill. Super chill. Connor rocks a lot of Alexander McQueen, if you pay attention. He does a lot of Gucci. A though. lot of Dolce, Dolce. Yeah, he does do Gucci for sure. But I don't know, to me, and I don't want to hear no, like, oh, so you're going to pick the white boy. You know, I don't want to hear none of that <laughs> shit. Because it, it's, it's. No, like, Connor does some shit. Connor does have, like, like, a pretty boy swag, though. He does. He, he's, he's, he doesn't have that baggy. He has no, no, no. He wears, like, he, he wears well, hella sweatshirts. Yeah, hella sweatshirts. A lot. But they're yeah. super fitted. Like, they land right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's super fitted. The like, jeans are, like, like very nice, yeah. nicely tailored. But, but I, I'm telling you, but uh, you know, but what, is he hype? No. No, I don't think I don't think he's hyped though. To be honest, with you. I mean, like I think Con, if you look at Connor, I think, and Connor just like all of these Cause, other cause, guys. Because Floyd is hype. For sure, but look, the dudes that look at all these guys are like, hype, right? Like they they jump on this Gucci and all this stuff. Is that look? You know, you're you're poor for the most part. You know, you broke as fuck. So now you try and, to get whatever. Yeah, you growing up, you know, this is a Benz Gucci. Uh, Louis Vuitton, you know, all that shit was live as fuck. And then now that you got the money, it's like, all right, let me go ahead and you know, saying blow this this money on this dope ass shit because I could afford it. And yeah, I'm gonna look. Is that the? the all right, let thing? me ask you a tr- This is a hard one. Is Nick Cannon hype? Nick Cannon can't dress for shit. Yeah. <laughs> but that guy be putting out the Gucci the and, scarf. Yeah. Like, and, be, is he hype? Because he be wearing the stupid. He be wearing like Louis Vuitton boots for no reason. Yeah, 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 he be yeah. wearing whatever for no reason. Well, you know, I, honestly, to be honest with you, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say Nick Cannon's hype. I think Nick Cannon puts thought into what he he wears. To be honest with you, he puts thought. It's just, it's just not a good execution. <laughs> to be honest with you. And the reason I'm why not, I'm not gonna say like, he's I'm asking, right? I'm asking because he looks hella bright. And he he's, does. And he's he does. like really obvious about it. Yeah, yeah. Right? Like he's very, that's what I say, he's very out there. But at the same time, he'll rock like Dickies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dickies is, I guess, coming back. He was rocking Dickies like way back then, like probably like two years ago. When yeah, the show he, was he really wore Dickies with like Tim's on. Yeah. Like so, Dickies shorts. <laughs> yeah, literally, Dickies sh- the long ones. Yeah. Too, it was like with Passionese. So it's like, uh, uh, I don't know, you know, that one's. It's one of those things, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, for me, I think the definition of hype is gonna stand where it's like, yo, you you know, you don't really fuck with it. It's just like, yo, the brand is Gucci's fuck it, so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna just shop. So that, is Jerry's brand hype. hype now? No, I don't think Jerry's brand is hype at all. In really? My opinion. I don't think that's what about the sneaks? Ask, let me ask you a question. The sneaks. And besides the shoes, how many people do you personally know that Rock Fear got? You personally no, know? No, 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 no. Okay, let's go out of that. But the sneaks. 
The six no, hour. I would say the six The hour. Nike, the Nike ones, yeah. for sure. The hype as hell. Yeah, for sure. But the Nike ones, yeah, because it's Nike. Yeah, let's Nike get that one out the way because it's Nike. Though. I don't know, man. Let's, Nike no. and Fear of God. Because no, no, no. no? you think Fear of God sneakers are hype? How many people you know wear Fear of God sneakers? No, 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 okay, no. Besides Rich, Rich Wilkerson yeah. and who else? <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Like all the yeah. hills, like, you get it, like you. Yeah, I mean, all the white, I mean, like, like. Steve like, and Fur, like us dudes wear right, but because that. they know Jerry's yeah, like almost yeah, a support. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, those shoes are fire. Like, no, like, no, but, but I probably gonna come so, with a pair so, of Fear God So suit, you, you think Nike is what did it? Yeah, oh, you don't think it's a collaboration? It no, no, the collaboration for sure. But I'm saying it's because the shoe. Look, think about it like this, bro. You have a Nike shoe. First of all, the shoe looks dope as fuck. Yeah, right? let's get yeah, that yeah. one out the way. So let's not take anything away from that. Both, both the shoot arounds and the and the and the encore are fire as fuck, right? On top of that, you got a you got a brand new Nike silhouette that that just dropped. It's a Nike shoe with one of the biggest, you know, sh- I guess cult streetwear influencers. Is, is, is that you is, got PJ Tucker? Who yeah, that's like what I'm saying. A big PJ sneaker. is a sneaker. Well, PJ wasted thirty eight k on one pair of sneaks once. For real, he what? was saying that, I, and I don't what know shoe? what shoe it was. Undefeated fours or something? Nah, man. He what said. He, I don't know what shoe he was. He was, you know, how he has like a show with KD and Kuzma, yeah, Kuzma, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Kyle Kuzma, and some other dude, whatever this. Yeah, yeah. Whatever they they asking him about the shoes. Podcast, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. They asking him about shoes. He's like, oh, the most I ever spent is thirty eight grand on one pair of shoes. And they didn't know what shoe. He I, I, shoe. no, but the little clip didn't show the shoe. Oh, and then like right much. after that, he follows up talking about how he has like a bunch of KD shoes, like limited edition stuff. Yeah. yeah. He's like, I just wouldn't wear them on the same court when we play him, but I got all the stuff. You know? Gotcha, gotcha. Like, yeah, but but yeah, but see. When that guy PJ is wearing your shoes, you know you are like because PJ for got sure. exclusives for yeah, days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, like it, it's 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 a combination, man. Like, I mean, look, there's the thing. You gotta honestly think about it like this. There's a lot of those shoes on sale, like just selling, because it's it's also like a big resale market mm-hmm. for you. I mean, look, like, I think that when when you get a shoe right and it sells out and it's hard to get your hands on, that then you have a problem. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? Cause like, yo, nobody's really trying to sell so, this. So, shoe. what do you think creates hype? Because for example, so OVO is people, not high, but it's expensive. The people, yeah, it's expensive as fuck. But it's like, but you know, Yeezy, you know, you know like why? Yeezy, Yeezy, not yeah, Yeezy, but Yeezy, Yeezy, Yeezy. Yeezy, okay, yeah. Yeezy, Yeezy. 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 No, no, well, he does. He does? Oh, like eight, eight whatever, eighty-seven, thirty-two. I never heard of that. Yeah. Shit. Is is it like some like is it good or is it like some street sh- like some thug street shit? Well, I don't know what he does now, but that has always been a brand. He's yeah, had that brand. I don't. I never heard about that. Yeah. Brand. Eighty-seven, thirty-two. Let's see. I mean, okay, hold up. So on on your way on your way to OVO, OVO clothing is a hype, no, but I think it because it depends. Is now, it I, the, I never seen that. Yeah. Rock rock apparel. Now, I never seen that. I, I I think OVO it depends. I, you know, okay, with shoes, I think with shoes is almost in the in immediate like it's gone. You get me? Because the shoes, especially look when the, there's I don't know if you know there's OVO Timberlands, uh-huh. right? Those shoes are gone. Yeah. Like, gone, yeah. gone fast, right? There's, there's OVO, OVO Clarks. Clarks. There's OVO... Uh, well, Clarks has more than one. It has, it has the Chuckas. Uh-huh. And it has the Wallabies. The Wallabies, right. I thought the Wallabies were the Chuckas. They have two different? Well, you don't know. You know the Wallabies are the ones that... The little like, square the toe, little thing. And like, then the Chucker boots, like the desert the, boots. The actual desert boots. Has I, mean, I don't know. OVO. Yeah, so I mean, like... I, I think shoes almost always just gonna be gone when there's collaborations. Almost always. Yeah, I mean, I've look, I have collaborations with fucking people that are just like just just from the hype of it, like like to some shit. Yeah, I mean, so it's like, I mean, look, well, I think what creates hype is who's backing that up. Like for example, if I go and I and I, and I go behind the shoe, I created a shoe. Like fuck, nobody's gonna want that fucking <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? But, but for what example, about Levar Ball. Um, that guy made hype for Triple B because he created hype though. Exactly because he, what he was talking about. But that's what I'm saying. Like, like the, it depends who you. What create hype? Who you are. What, what? And, again, it's, it's where your attention's at. You know what I mean, it's always gonna be where the attention's at. What's what's going on? Like what's popping off? So you think, you think it's social media creates at. hype? For well, it has a part. Of it. I think media in general creates hype. But it's be it was, who's behind it. Look. I remember like watching these old sneaker videos and like that. People used to talk about like, yo, back in the day, we used to have, like, before the internet and shit, right? People, they'll talk about how they used to have to wake up yeah, like, camp, every Saturday. Camp. No, 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 not camp. Not, listen to this. Before all of that shit happened, people would have to wake up early, right? Take their bus or whatever the fuck they had to do, right? To go to a store to find out what sneakers were there, like available that day. Yeah. Like if you hear like the OG, I'm talking about like, the OG, I'm talking about before the internet. People have to wake up and go and find out what sneakers are like available. You know what I mean? that, that was during the time where you could just wake up, 
go to a store and be like, like, oh, I want to see what you have. You know, like, what, what's going on? Like, oh, man, that. you got the J's? Oh, you got these? Oh, these, these? Oh, okay, dope. You know what I mean? And you just buy the fucking shoes. Obviously, the internet comes out. It's just more awareness. You know what I mean? And now, you got you can buy online. It's more awareness. Fucking people have bots. bots. It's, you know what I'm saying? Like, like it, it's, the evolution is insane. So, it's just, it's too much awareness going on. So, like, look. Yo, your fake. Name me a, a, somebody that you look up to, like, big time. I don't know, like you. Somebody that's like, yo, I like this guy. I look up to this guy, whatever. In what? In fashion. Let's say in fashion, in clothing, whatever. There has to be somebody, bro. I don't know. Nobody influences you in clothing at all. Like not my fits. I like Kanye. You know me. I love Kanye. Okay. So has Kanye ever influenced anything that you've wanted or or have bought before at all? No. So nobody's ever influenced you to buy something ever, like clothing wise. Like a person. Yeah, you know, like whatever? like a person. Like nobody's ever been like, damn, bro. Like okay, I, I fuck with that. I fuck with that. And like, does influence you to want to buy that? Like you never seen a pair of shoes and you see like on picture and this is a whack as fuck. And then somebody comes out and I don't know they they're I rocking the shit out of them. Simple one. This is this thing that uh, like uh, that uh, Louis V bag that I still want because of Ti. The backpack. Yeah. Ti. Um, Okay, that. but but you saw it on Ti first. Yeah. Okay, so that that that's why. Like, when I saw, like, it, I, I was like, I don't know. I saw it on Ti and I was like, yo, I think it's fresh. Yeah. Like I already thought the bag was fresh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It wasn't Ti influenced me, but so I saw you, it on him. But but say, have you, but that's the first time you saw the bag. Yeah. So you never saw the bag like by itself. No, no, because I wasn't looking. I just you know yeah, yeah. that show, whatever show he used to have, the Ti Tiny Show, whatever it's called. Oh, okay, okay. So I was like, and oh yeah, that boy. Look. No, actually, even before that, he he was just like, this is like a concert going to the concert. Yeah. He see he would always wear those bags. I was like, that I like that bag a lot. I mean, like I don't know. For me, it, it's. There's shoes that I've seen, like, like through pictures, and it's like, ah, them shoes, is, nah, whatever, you know what I mean? I didn't think much of them, and next thing you know, I'm like, damn, them shoes are good on feet, like, they actually look... But that's not a person cool. influence you, that's just that's, you. No, no, that's influence, dude. That's you think so? That's definitely influence. Bro, I guarantee, look, I guarantee you, you could have gone your entire life seeing, like, your PE coach... Or your dad rock Stan Smith, and you will think nothing of it. You know what I mean? You'll be like, okay, whatever. That's a fucking my sh- my dad rocks which is whatever. You know what I mean? And then next thing you know, somebody right wears that shit. Like, oh, I kind of like that shit. Shit looks hard. Man. Yo, listen, I've seen my dad rock this T-shirt for years. I'm talking about years, my nigga. Like this, is how I know. And then next thing you know, Jerry Lorenzo, the whole thing with Nike, he has a T-shirt just like this motherfucker right here. I'm like, and bag as hell. Looking at that shit, like that shit look good on him, bro. And it clicked. <laughs> Yo, my dad has some shit. shit like that. And then, yo, he influenced me to go in my dad's closet and steal a shirt. So, I'm not, at least for me, it, it's happened that way. Look, I've seen shoes that, to me, is like, nah, I'm, I'm good. And next thing you know, I'm like, oh, shit. Like, don't shit. Like, yeah. Honestly, like, Ultra Boost. The first time I saw Ultra Boost were on Kanye West, right? Kanye was rocking them to, to go perform at, I don't even know, I think at the Garden or some shit like that, right? When he was, like, really hype and transitioning mm-hmm. to the whole Adidas shit. And I'm like, damn, them shits look, he rocking them shits kind of fire. Like, them shits look live. You know, he's rocking them with jeans yeah. and shit. All right, them shits look pretty good. Shit, I, next thing you know, I got all three colorways. <laughs> like, literally, I got gray, black, white. And I'm, I'm thinking about it now. Like, I, when I first got them, I used to rock them with jeans and shit. Now it's like, bro, I'm rocking them shits with fucking shorts. Yeah, and just chilling with them. Gym. You know what I mean? I don't even care. So, it, it's, it's, I think, man, people have a way of influencing and swaying. Look, Kanye said it before, man. I got people... You know, spending all their money just to have a t-shirt that I got type shit. And it's true, man. Like, yo, trust me, bro. Like, there's some shit that people have that you just, like, it, it all depends on your obsession. Yeah, you yeah. get me? Like, it all depends on your obsession. Like, you just, like, you have to have that shit, bro. Like, you have to. And, like, it's, it's sometimes, bro, people, especially people pull triggers fast when they want to be one of the first ones yeah, to have yeah, it. Yeah. To, to be on that you shit. You want to be like, part of the cloud. Like, yeah, yeah. You want to be. Yo, look, I, I think that this is not better said ever. It's not about being there first. It's about who's doing it better. That's always going to be it. So, for example, like the pantsu, right? I know this nigga will talk about the pantsu for a little minute. And I'm starting to, I saw Stephanie post a picture with the pantsu. Look, fresh as fuck. If you're watching this, yo, that red pantsu, fire, bro. Fire. I'm seeing more girls, like, get into the whole pantsu thing. That might, some girls might be like, nah, nah I don't want to do that no more because everybody's doing it. And other people are going to be like, shit, I'm still going to do it. Yeah, man, I still want to rock that shit. I would, yo, I encourage you to do it. Like, if you want to rock that, rock it. You know me? Like, what, what, what? Just because something is hyped or shouldn't stop you from rocking it because you like it. That's the whole thing, though. You know, we're talking about high beast and this negative thing. Yo, if you're rocking shit because you don't like it and you're going to rock it anyways, that's your business. That's your problem. You know what I mean? That, but that's what I would consider a high beast. But if you actually like that shit and you didn't come up with it, you just saw fucking... You saw your friend rock that shit. You know what I mean? And you really like how that shit looks, you can rock that shit, Guys, too. Let me get the hat. You can. Look, I got one right there. Oh, no, right here. I was like, you ready for it? Here. That's it. Here. 
and, I got drafted. And, <laughs> got drafted. And, and, yeah, you got a you, tiny head. I told you. You got a hell of a tiny head. You got the orange one? I got the if I, if, I, if I really put it all the way in, you I think I might just it? pass out. You're right about the same yeah, day. Right I, I had to go to the ATM, get more money. Because if not, he wasn't going to get the discount. Oh, I could have sworn that you only got the white one. No, I got both. Yeah, I ain't going to lie, bro. If I keep this here for 10 minutes, I pass out. Yeah, but if it's hella tight. <laughs> I got a little head. I was telling you, I got a little the head. The circulation is... Have a big head. I have a huge head. That's not even a question. Yeah, I, got, I got a little head. But you do have a little head, too. I do. It's a seven. The seven is like really... Yeah. This is like... That's the, like little kid like size. No, nah, not little kid size. But like the first size to adult size. Put it like that. Oh. Like literally. Oh. But it's still kind of tight. Look, I probably have a line, right? Yeah. Yeah, you see, I got a little line. Yeah, but you, because you putting that jump way down. But yeah, but I mean, well, I'm not going to rock it like that. I'm like a big ass forehead and I got a hairline, so don't even try to play me right now. But you know, okay, so essentially, man, look, well, all I have to say about that is that if you like something and you actually like it and it's hype as fuck, who the fuck cares? Go for it. You hear me? Just like this guy. Look at this guy. This guy really likes those sneakers, but she knows she's a fucking hype. He's like a motherfucker, but, but she decided good. to buy them and she feels good with them. And that's what matters. You get me? Buy them shits, do you. You get me? That, that's all that matters. Or don't day. buy it to save the money. Or you could, yeah. Realistically yeah, speaking, yeah. look, realistically speaking, if you save the money, two years later, there's another pair of shoes that you're going to want. You get me? So you could save the money and, you know, whatever. Whatever financial decisions you want to make in your life, make them. I'm just saying, bro. If there's something that's hype and you actually fuck with it, you actually like it, Fucking rock that you have all the liberty rock that shit. You know, people are influencers for a reason. Don't yo, I look, I don't feel bad for people influencing me all the time. Do I have friends that influence me? No. With style? No. I'm gonna be honest with you. None of you faggots influence me when it comes to I style. Would hope not. not really. But are there other famous people that influence me? Yeah. But for example, these guys, they influence my mentality, they influence my ambitions, they influence other shit that, you know, is internal, not external. You know what I'm saying? So you get influencers from everywhere, you know what I mean? So Again, for right now, bro, I'm a fucking Jerry boy. Proud as fuck. I'm broke as fuck. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. I'm fucking bankrupt like a motherfucker. After everything I done bought from Fear God, I'm fucking bankrupt at this point. But I got fired for chapter 11, <laughs> chapter 7, chapter 2 and 3, and there's no such thing as all, that. All either. of Genesis. All of, all of, all of Genesis. Them, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Romy. <laughs> all of them, man. Oh, man. Oh, I think man. you covered it all. Uh, Sheesh, that whatever good. he didn't cover, that you let us so know. Long. That was good, man. That was good. That was natural. <laughs> you Where like this shit didn't record? Remember this shit? Father, can you check if it's recording? I learned a lot. I have a you feeling know, that I didn't record. You though. know, I, I was going to check earlier, but yeah. I was like, nah. I learned Is it recording? So. Um, She's going to try to lie. Yeah. She's oh, like, fuck. <laughs> Stop fucking around. It is, it is 41, 41. Okay, okay, okay. All right, we still good, y'all. We still good, y'all. All right, man. So I think that's good, man. Once again, y'all. Thank y'all once again. Appreciate you. you know this is Robert George the Hypebeast, bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Till next time, man. Peace.